This AI powered device is probably better than your phone. It's from a rather new company called Rabbit. They featured a short video on Unbox Therapy, but I couldn't get the full understanding of what it is. So I decided to look into it myself and tell you about it because it's cool. They've made this device called the Rabbit R1 and it's supposed to be a bit more intuitive than a smartphone. They argue that smartphones which are running on app based ecosystems aren't really that efficient. You need an app for everything. You want to book a cab, there's an app for that. You want to order food, there's a separate app for that. You want to watch a video or a movie or listen to music, there are independent apps for all of those that don't communicate with one another. So they say as a result, smartphones have become a medium to waste time rather than save time and get things done. And even though we have these voice assistants like Siri or Google Assistant, they are still not advanced enough to understand nuances in our conversation and actually do the task themselves. So Rabbit has developed a new AI model called Large Action Model. It's similar to the large language models like ChatGPT, except it's oriented for action. What does that mean? Well, this large action model can understand and learn how to use an interface. So if you show it a screen with a few buttons and drop downs, you can train that to use that screen specifically. And you can do this on any platform, iOS, Android, Windows, wherever. So once it knows how to use that interface, you can basically instruct it to do something for you. And it will follow all the steps behind the scenes without you doing anything. And they have put this technology in their handheld device, which they are calling it a pocket companion. It's a pretty funky looking thing. It has a touch screen and a push to talk button, there's a physical scroll wheel and a 360 rotating camera as well. If you're wondering why does it look so interesting or unique, it's because it's made by Teenage Engineering. Yes, the same people who made the Nothing Ear One. They're a fantastic design company who makes some iconic, really good looking tech. They even make other things outside of tech, but their devices are unmistakable, they're unlike anything else. So I'll be honest, I like how the Rabbit R1 looks. It looks like a strange gaming device we used to have as a kid, except it has a highly advanced AI algorithm behind it. It doesn't have 5G yet, it can only support 4G LTE, but still most areas aren't covered by 5G around the world, so it should be good enough. And you can use the push to talk button on the side to interact with the rabbit assistant and give it instructions. In order to use all the other apps, you'll have to first log into those apps using their web portal, which they're calling the rabbit hole. And rabbit OS will not save any of your login data, it just takes you to the authentication page of that app. So you're just logging in and authenticating this device to use that app on your behalf. So if you sign into Spotify, let's say, you can just ask it like you're asking a person, you know, play this album, play something else. Who wrote this song? What do you think of this song? Like these are not common commands you would ask Siri or Google Assistant, right? If you say play something else, it may not know what to do, but this one does. It will literally play you something else, which it may think you would like, depending on your, I guess, music history. And it's not only just for selective apps, it can go to any app. You can say, we have four four people here, order us a large pizza, it will find the appropriate pizza for your group size and give you that instruction, all you have to do is click confirm. I know you still have to click a few buttons to confirm your cab and everything, but it's still faster than you doing it manually. Like you can just ask it, can you book a cab from my home to my office or can you book a cab for four people and say that you need a comfortable ride for one hour, it will find appropriate rides and recommend that to you. So you see, you can talk to it as if it's your human assistant. I know this is just a demo and if it was like just gimmicky, I wouldn't talk about it, but I do like it. Also, this rotating camera, they're calling it the rabbit eye. You can double press that same push to talk button and it'll activate the camera. So that camera will act like its eyes. You can show it to something and give a command. Like you can show a bunch of ingredients and say, give me a recipe based on this. You don't even have to list the ingredients. Apparently it can recognize and give you a recommendation. Or you can point it to your screen where you show a spreadsheet and say, add a column and do something there. And apparently it can recognize that spreadsheet and do that thing and it'll email you the result. I would have liked it if it can directly add it in the same sheet instead of a separate email, but this is still impressive regardless. Imagine that, you're not even taking a screenshot or anything, you're just pointing that device's camera and apparently it can recreate it based on your command. Tell me if I'm wrong, but I don't think there's a single device that can do this. I mean, I wonder how it's doing it, like is it using real-time OCR, like optical character recognition, and it's taking that data, putting it in a table of its own and then executing your command and then sending it via email, a lot of stuff's happening behind the scenes, at least in theory as of now. Using their experimental teach mode, you can train it newer apps like say Midjourney. You can start recording your steps like logging into Discord and going into Midjourney, giving it a prompt, so it will understand what it's like, so it will literally see and learn. Once it has seen you generate an image, it can generate any other image by giving your instructions as the prompt. It'll automatically go to Discord, do all of that and bring you the results. Again, that's pretty impressive. 
Okay, let's answer this question now that why do you need this device? People were saying, hey, I have a smartphone. Why do I need this? And I get it. You know, in a short video, you may not get the full context. They clearly say in their keynote that this is not meant to be a smartphone replacement, but it is trying to be an app by app basis replacement. Like this one device can access all of your apps and can understand human language. You don't have to tap around your app and go through different menus to do something. You just ask it to do something and it'll do it. Or at least that's the ideal vision. You saw, right? You can mention your criteria and it'll give you that specific result in real life. Instead of ordering food and looking at it yourself, you could literally say order me something spicy or sweet and it'll give you recommendations and even give you options to order directly with one tap. And that is more intuitive than a smartphone just like they promised. And also the pricing seems pretty decent to me, like they are just coming in at $199, just shy of $200 without any subscriptions. So it's just one time payment and the entire device with all of its features is yours. Unlike these other AI or smart devices out there, it doesn't have any subscription fees or recurring payments, which is good. Overall, that was the Rabbit R1, a pocket companion. Not really a smartphone replacement, but an intuitive app replacement. I wonder where else can they use this LAM, you know, large action model. Surely it doesn't have to be in the R1 itself. You can probably use it on your phone too. Our phones are crazy powerful these days. So I wonder if they'll release it as a some sort of a paid subscription type model like GPT-4. That would be cool, right? To have it on any device. And if you want that interesting device yourself, you can get the R1. Or if you want to use it on your own phone, you can pay them and get the LAM on your phone. That should be a feature. But what do you think? Do you think this AI representation is better than before? I think so. I think this is the most practical version or implementation of AI we have ever seen so far.